3D location and overview of pelvic organs and ligaments help to understand better the complex suspensions and relations between the pelvic organs. Bladder is suspended by medial umbilical ligaments and laterally by lateral ligaments. Urethra is suspended by the pubovesical ligaments. And posteriorly, the bladder is linked to the uterus by the vesico-uterine ligament. The uterus is suspended by several pairs of ligaments. The round ligaments, the paracervix and parametrium, with their link with the ureter and the uterine artery. Posteriorly, we will find the rectovaginal ligaments and, of course, the uterosacral ligaments from the vaginal fornix to the presacral fascia. Rectum is suspended by the rectal lateral ligaments. Utero-ovarian ligament link the uterus and the ovaries and the ovaries are suspended to the lateral side walls by the suspensory ligaments. Visceral peritoneum link all these different pelvic organs from the pelvic walls to the bladder uterus and rectum. On this uh, lateral view, it is described to have an anterior and a posterior cul-de-sac. Laterally, the peritoneum converges on the broad ligament. with its uh, different uh, portions. This uh, upper view helps us to localize successively all the different ligaments. Utero-ovarian, round ligament, parametrium, paracervix, and uterosacral ligaments. And again, on these pelvic sections, we follow all these ligaments, pubovesical, lateral ligament of the bladder, medial umbilical ligament, vesico-uterine ligament, round ligament, paracervix, parametrium, suspensory ligament of the ovary, and uterosacral ligaments. And we finish with this uh, overview of all the ligaments. All of the ligaments described are part of the connective tissues of the pelvic cavity. They are not isolated elements and have to be considered in a global comprehensive view.